I see two lines in a graph, and they say if a new graph of three linear equations is created using the system above and this new third equation, how many solutions will the resulting system of three equations have? So I see points above. You already know I'm jumping in Desmos. I'm going to go ahead and add a table, and I'll graph each of these lines. We have uh, negative 8 to positive 6, and then 9 and negative 2. We go ahead and graph our first line. To save space on this table, I'm just going to export this graph, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my table. We're going to add a second one for our second line here. This is going to be negative 5, negative 4 to positive 5 and 7. Same thing. I'm going to graph our second line. I'm going to go ahead and export this and get rid of our table. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my third equation here. 2y minus 6 divided by 7 is equal to 22x divided by 10. And it looks like I have a certain system here. Uh, we have this line intersecting both my other lines, and they kind of look parallel. So jumping back to my answers here, you know, how many solutions do these three lines have? Well, you might be thinking that it's going to be two here, right? Because we have two intersection points. But a solution when we only have two lines is when those two lines intersect. A solution when we have three lines is when all three lines intersect. You can see that these two lines are parallel. They're never going to intersect, which means my three lines are never going to intersect. So kind of a trick question. There are zero times when all three lines intersect.